Hi, everybody, and I don't know why I am going. Why is the door closed again? Wait up, let me. Where's my camera? Okay, why is it a disco again? What is going on? Why is it doing that? I don't know why is it going disco. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to figure out why it is going colorful. It wasn't doing that. Oh yeah, mama. You lock the door. Why you close the door? Um, let me know if it looks like there's disco lights, like flashing like this. Cause I don't know if it's doing that. Right now, I'm busy. Please stop. Give me one second, guys. Why is it going like orange and sorry, um, baby girl <laughs> is a little cranky today, so okay. Um, thank you for the thumbs up, whoever thumbs up the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Thank you very much. And yes, yeah. so welcome everybody to Friday Night Chat. Um, I will be opening one of my beauty boxes today and then um, do the other one pre recorded because I didn't want to do both of them. I really wanted to do my boxy charm today just because I'm very curious what's inside my box. And I also titled it Q&A Friday. So if you guys want to get to know me and ask me some questions, feel free to ask me any questions you want. Um, and if you guys have questions after this live go on, just leave them down in the comment section and I'll see if I get back to you. You know, I am like, editing a couple of videos as I am like actually doing a live. Um, I'm waiting for it to, you know, do its whole editing upload thing. So if you hear a thing later on or something like that, that's because my video is ready to be transported to YouTube. And yes, yeah, so I have, I want to say about four more vlogs and I have two beauty boxes that I will be doing like recorded. So look out for that. And also, I will be doing Vlogmas in December. So, yeah, I know there's a lot of changes going on YouTube, but I'm not scared of it. I'm not worried about it. And if anything comes to whatever, I'll just keep this channel as a beauty slash fashion. And then I do have another channel that I will be working on. And I'll put all my vlogs there, which is Cammy's Vlog. I've had that channel now for a couple of years, only uploaded a couple of vlogs there. So if anything was to happen, I'll upload most of my vlogs there. Just because the whole YouTube and the children thing, and what I don't understand, if they have YouTube kids, why are they penalizing us who decides to vlog our family? We're following the rules of YouTube. We're not cursing. We're not talking about certain things. And yet still we're getting penalized, which is so crazy. She told me to go to daddy. <laughs> she did? She told me to go to daddy. 
she closed the door on you. Oh, she's like, I don't want you here. You made me mad. You got your, your little container with your chips? You like it? Yeah, my, my daughter is over there. She's eating some cheese doodles, trying to keep her calm. Oh, I think something fell in my eye. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, so if anything happens, I'll just start uploading on that. Oh, don't touch me. Go over there. No, you got cheese doodle and the bed. Well, tomorrow I'm going to clean these sheets anyway. Um, so yeah, like I said, if anything happens, I'll just start uploading on that channel. And then this channel, I'll keep it for beauty, fashion, just my face. Like I had it before. I only wanted to implement vlogs because I like to remember some memories of my baby as she grows. You know, I didn't have that opportunity with my two sons, you know? So if anything happens, that's where it will go, my vlogs. I'll let you know if anything happens. And if you guys want to like subscribe to that channel, I'll see if I leave a link down below or up above to that channel in case you want to subscribe to that channel now and be ready, ready when YouTube does their crazy you know, changes. Cause like I said, first it was, you can't do certain things unless you have a thousand subscriber, 4,100 watch time, um, to be, you know, monetize and partner, whatever. And now it's this thing with the children and, you know, a lot of YouTubers are talking about it. A lot of YouTubers. Okay. So if you don't know, now, you know, look it up. There's a lot of information so it's not saying that you can't do youtube it's just you got to be very cautious about things being kit related which is ridiculous because like i said they do have youtube kids so why not keep it there you know what i'm saying so now you're not giving ads for people who wants to do videos 18 and over and now you don't want to give ads to people who are family oriented so basically, YouTube is really trying to not pay nobody. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, YouTube would not be YouTube with, without us. And that's sad. Because if it wasn't us taking our time to record and edit and, and do this crazy work, I mean, yes, thank you, YouTube, for giving us a platform to speak our minds. But little by little, you've been taking that away from us. You know, first it started with the copyright. Then it started, you can't curse. You can't talk about politics. You can't talk about religion. Then now it's, oh, you got to make sure it's not kid directed. So it's like YouTube is slowly but surely killing itself. So starting maybe next year, I'm going to still do YouTube. I'm going to see what happens. I'm not quitting YouTube. I love doing YouTube because it gives me a space to talk to other women, other people from around the country and stuff. But starting probably in January, I will become a mixer gamer um, person. So I'll still be able to make some kind of income for us if YouTube decides that, you know, they want to do what they want to do. So um, somebody wrote it up. I see somebody write. Hey, Jay, how you doing, girl? Oh my God. So yeah, I'm just here blabbing about this whole thing about the YouTube changes and the crazy thing, you know, that everybody's talking about on YouTube. So let me move this out because I can't see the um the chat unless you know. So how you doing, Jen? I hope you're having a great Friday. I've been having a great Friday, as you could tell. I've been getting a lot of sleep lately. Um, just being very positive, like I said, very, very positive, thinking positive, putting things out in the universe and hoping for the best. So you came in just in time. I haven't opened my box yet. I'm about to open my November um, boxy charm. They sent me this about it, my channel for kids and adults. Yeah, that's why I understand. Like it's that's why they made a YouTube kid. That's like if you make youtube kids then why come and attack fam like i said earlier you didn't want us to curse 
a lot of YouTubers stopped cursing. You didn't want us to talk about politics, a lot of them stopped doing it. Um, you didn't want to talk about religion, a lot of us. So it's like you took so much things about us that it became kind of like kid contact, basically. But to top it off, not everybody's content is for kids. But with that saying, there is still kids that are going to watch my channel. They're going to be people that's going to watch everybody else's channel that is not kid related. But kids are so curious nowadays, they're going to watch. And the thing is, with the whole thing, don't you have to be at least 13 and over to have a YouTube account? Like, think about it. So how would they know if a kid is watching your channel or not? That's why they made YouTube kids, so that the kids can watch the YouTube over there. So... I don't know. It's just ridiculous. And and then that company, Kappa, whatever their name is, is just ridiculous. So, yeah. Hey, Sergi, how you doing? <laughs> and it's just, I don't know. Honestly, my content is not made for kids. But if a kid decided they want to watch it, hey, I can't stop them. I mean, it's like another YouTuber here. He's He has much, much more views than us. He has almost half of a billion views on YouTube, and he's fighting for us little YouTubers, which is amazing. And he's a family channel, you know, and, you know, he already, you know, established himself. He has sponsorships. He has everything like that. Um, but he's fighting for us, the ones that are starting this up and wants to make it a business and wants to, you know, venture into YouTube as a way to do income wise, you know, um, not everybody does things for kids, you know? So he's trying to fight for us. He's like, used to be a lawyer, I think, but he doesn't do lawyer no more. I, it's a whole thing. I wish I knew what his name was. He was with um, the influencer. He did a video with them. Um, the husband of It's Judy Life was with him. Um, his name is Benji. Um so they did a video together talking about the whole change and everything like that. I, I wish I could link that also down below, maybe later on when the video, you know, up renders and uploads so that you guys can see that video. Like it's an eye opener. Like he can't believe YouTube is doing this, you know? So what are your plans for the weekend? Um, I'm just going to stay home. I want to go and clean that kitchen out because I feel like there's a lot of things that I want to get rid of in the kitchen, Sergio. Um, and my favorite food is anything Italian. So basically lasagna, stuffed shelves, um, you know, Italian food. So uh, favorite fast food would have to be Wendy's, either Wendy's or Burger King. I can't do McDonald's no more because... McDonald's, no, no good, no good. No window for my stomach, <laughs> unless it's a salad and the ice cream. But other than that, I can't do McDonald's no more. So I'm going to open this box, Sergi, for the women because, you know, it is my November box. And then next month, I will be getting the Boxy Lux. So I just want to know what I got in this box. I got the Ipsy box as well, but I'm doing a... um recorded video for that one because i really want to actually enjoy that makeup so i made some spaghetti with garlic bread today mm, yesterday i had garlic bread but i had jumbo stuff um soft shelves and i got it from bj's i have that video coming up soon i found these big jumbo shelves that's full with um, ricotta cheese inside they taste so good all you have to do is put some tomato sauce you know spaghetti sauce in a pot or you can put it in the oven whichever way you want and you let that just simmer and cook it's supposed to be done in like 45 minutes but you know i have the foodie so i only had 30 minutes to be done and some garlic bread and that was dinner yesterday and it was mm, delicious because you know how hard it is to try to stuff the jumbo shelf I, it's just time consuming messy but next time I'm getting two bags, two. Um, we ate hot dogs today because basically it's like no eat, like no cook day for me today and tomorrow. So we just decided to eat some hot dogs today. 
and maybe tomorrow the kids might eat some sandwiches or something like that because Sergi, I don't normally cook on Fridays and Saturdays. I only cook um, Sundays through Thursdays. So that's how I am here. And then we eat whatever I decide to like have here because we try to buy things that we can make here in the home. Yes, we do eat sometimes outside, but that's maybe once or twice a month. We're trying to really cut back in spending food outside and making the food ourselves, you know? I made that dish three weeks ago. You did? Oh my God. Oh, stuff shelves is so, so, so good. I haven't had stuff shelves in forever. Like it's been a long time because that's how like time consuming it is. So I'm just cutting into my box. So I this tape doesn't want to cut today. So how is everybody's Friday? Are you guys enjoying tonight? Uh, yes, I do. I like Chinese food. Really do. <laughs> um, my favorite color, Jen. What's my favorite color, Jen? <laughs> Jen's been watching me for a long time. So. Um, so here goes the inside of my boxy charm for those that are here and want to see this. And you guys can continue asking me questions. I just really want to know what's in this box because I didn't get to choose what was in the box because every month you can choose, I think, one or two products from the box. Or is it, I think it's the box deluxe that you could choose two products. I'm not sure. But um, let's see. So this is the, okay, this way? All right, this way. Um, this is what it is. It is Stellar, I said. It's the number seven. I think I got the seven right here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Because I think the seven is the box number, like different boxes have different numbers. So thank you, Jen. And I have one, two, three, four, five products here. And BoxyCharm came out with their own, own um, brushes. Okay, now my things are starting to flash. I got to be careful to put different lighting next to the, um, it's still flashing. Um, it's going to flash for a couple of more minutes. I don't know why, but it does that. So... They have other ones too. They got the boxy lux and they have another boxy charm thing, but I am sticking with this one and the one that I have, the boxy um, lux. I'm trying to figure out if it stopped. I'm trying to figure out. Don't worry if I do this for a second because I want to see if it stops. Okay, there we go. I think it stopped. I don't know. I think it's because the color change and stuff. So I got to be very careful what I do. Um, <clears throat> so the most expensive product here is the Juicy Beauty Stem Sailor Eagle Eye Treatment, which is retails for $50. And then the cheapest is a pop band. Uh, so those are, that's the cheapest one from Tem. $50. So we're going to start with the most expensive one here. And it looks like it got crushed. If you guys can see it, it got crushed. Am I buffering for you guys? Let me see. Do you pick up any new makeup for your eyes? Um, no, why? <laughs> It did come crushed. This is how the box looks. So, Boxy Charm, I don't know what you guys are doing in your delivery, but yeah, this is how the box looks. It was already kind of open like this. So, I'm hoping it's all okay. Um, let's just get into it. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if you guys can see it. This is what it looks like. It is the anti-wrinkle eye treatment. And I love things for the eyes because, you know, I have a lot of dark circles. 
not too much wrinkles maybe like really close here i might have a little bit of wrinkles but not a lot um and uh let's see what it says it does oh okay um so this right here this here is fifty dollars so Okay, um, this is a blend of fruit stem cells, vitamin C infused with organic, antibiotic, rich botanical juice, work to reduce the appearance of fine lines around the eyes and minimize the appearance of dark circles. Hmm, Boxy Chum, do you really know me or have you been not? I'm just playing. <laughs> you know, we do a survey and that survey helps them kind of give you products that is useful you know so i will be trying this product and this is how it looks i hope you guys can see it it's like that so basically you probably i don't know how to use it yet but i think you would actually do it like that so maybe you don't have to touch your you know face because sometimes people says it's not good to touch your face with your hands but if you wash your hands then you know it should be safe you know um, so I will give this a try for $50. This has to work. And so I'm here, baby girl, baby girl is with her dad over there in the living room. They're watching a show, I think on, I think Netflix. So, okay. Q question for you guys. Since this is a Q and a Friday who here has Disney plus or is wanting to get Disney plus and how do you feel about the whole you know 6.99 price for a month and i think it's 69.99 for a year how do you guys like feel about that what happened so that's my first product i am gonna try it but i don't know why the box came out so squashed up now the next thing i'm looking here i don't know hmm should i do the blushes or should i do the shadows because they're both $35. So 35 and 35, that's 70. So 70 and 50, we already have $125, $120. Sorry, I was about to say $125. I don't know why. We have $120. And this box is, I think, $25, if I'm not mistaken. I think it went up price. Um, just because they're going to try to give us more um, products. They're going to start giving us concealers, like real nice concealers and foundation. So that's a really up, up game for BoxyCharm, you know? But I really want to look at the palette first because I have enough blush brushes. Stop. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. She's playing with a picture over there. So I'm going to look for the, the palette. And it comes nicely like this. Um, this is the what? Celeste Thunder. It is by Dominique Cosmetic. It's pretty. It's really pretty. And like I said, I'm hoping to start doing some makeup looks here on my channel. And if you do like any makeup looks, um, I'm going to first start posting them on Instagram first. And then if you guys do follow me there, um, or I'll put in a community center as well. I'll put pictures of what I do. And if you guys like it, um, hopefully I'll have a video up and edit it and then I'll just play the video and you guys can watch me recreate it. I'm going to start trying to be more um, recording my makeup looks so that if I like how it looks, I'll take a picture, snap it, and then just share it around social media. And if I get enough likes on it, then I'll just release the video. So if you understand what I'm trying to say, okay. Um, so this is how it looks. I don't want to get too close because it looks like if I get too close, my light starts to flicker. I don't know why. I don't know. So, ooh, ooh, I like. Okay, I like some of the colors. Why it looks like it's been played with. 
not play with like dipped into it but it's like i don't know it's pretty so oh i don't want to break it now these are the colors you guys can see it they are beautiful especially that gold up here that gold here i don't know if you guys can really see it really good that be a good good new year's eve color um so the colors are internal light fireball black matter zero gravity lucid dream storm dust lunar eclipse and mystic ice the mystic ice is the blue that blue is it's not even doing justice the camera is not doing justice with a lot of these colors but they are beautiful like oh, look at those colors like do you see that i want to swatch them especially that gold one i'm gonna swatch it i'm gonna see what that looks like i used to swatch a lot it's not showing up but i think it is what it is but you know hey get out of there it's right here oh yeah it's nice it's a nice little shimmer like something you could put in the corner of your eyes to make it pop color or like inside what what is you what what is your r what sorry somebody wrote what is your r but they retracted it the person who wrote it retracted it i really like that color Browns are my color because I like neutral. I want to try this black matter because it's like black, but it has like gold flexes in there. That'd be another nice color. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like shimmer. You see it? It's oh can't wait to play with these colors. I normally don't like touching my makeup until I'm ready to use it, but and this blue one. I love this blue one. I'm trying to see if I got any makeup on my fingers. Um, that blue look nice. Oh, wait up. It's not even black. It's, right? It's like a purple. Look at it real good. Right? It's like a deep purple. You see it like a... Like a purple and gold. It, yeah. I thought it was black, but it's like a deep, deep purple. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe that's why it's called Black Matter. Yeah, that's what it's called, Black Matter. And then this is the blue, which for me now it looks kind of green on my hand. I don't know. It looks, it's called Mystic Ice. That's not even blue, that's green. It's green, but why it looks blue there? That's like a, no, like a. I want to put makeup. That's green. And that color right here is Mystic Ice. Because on there it's looking kind of blue. No, my is... shirt. Your shirt right here is blue. But there are different shades of blue. Remember, you have like light shade blue like all the way to like a dark. Like a turquoise green. I need a wipey. Can you give me a wipey so I can wipe this? I think I have one more finger. And I think I'm going to dip it into the storm dust. I'm debating whether to do lunar eclipse or storm dust, but I'm going to like a lunar eclipse looks like an orange, like a burnt orange. So I'm going to go into more of the storm dust. And let me see. That's pretty too. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know what I would use that for. Just leave it right there. <laughs> I asked one for myself and he goes in. So basically, they are very pigmented. As you can tell, they still stuck on my fingers. Usually, certain colors won't do that. So these are like the four colors I tried. It, they're pretty nice. Um, really pretty. And that palette retails for $35. So yeah, 35 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play with it, you know, see what color combinations that I would do in this and you do get a mirror i didn't want to show you the mirror but you do get a nice size mirror so you can see yourself yeah so that's really pretty yeah i know we got to get like a, something there but it's okay don't touch mamas don't touch go with dad 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 go with dad so that is my second product so so far i have a total of 85 dollars 
So I showed you one and two. This here is $85 and I paid 20 something dollars for this box. I mean, sometimes you get good products. I know that because I've heard other people complain, but honestly, you're getting good products that honestly you would have wasted all your money on and might not have liked it in the first place. So moving on, we are going to look at Deuce of Colors Lip Matte Lipstick. Um, and that retails for $18. I don't know if I've ever tried Juice of Colors ever. So this is in the color Flirty. So this is what it looks like in the box. And this is like the color. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I'm gonna pull it off the box. Oh, look, and it has a nice little seal. I don't know if you see it sealed. So let me get my scissors so I can snip it. Snip, snip. I don't want to snip the whole thing, but at least snip is. Oh, let's see. What did you do? You just put that on the bed. Who won the bag? That plate. This? Yeah. Marshall? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> okay, this is a little tricky because they put like a little sticky thing so you can't open it unless you break that seal open. So. Ooh, so this is what it looks like. Sorry, I don't know what my camera sometimes is. So very nice. I'm gonna see if I swatch it on my hand, guys. Um, it's like this, a little fufa. I like that. Ooh, it feels nice and soft. Skyler, no, no, babes. Ooh, it's creamy too. Look, it's right here. So this is. It's called Flirty. It's a nice neutral color. As most of you know, I do like doing very neutral looks, but if I have to do bow looks and bow lipstick, I will do it. I will do it. And I look nice with it too, but it's just on days that is, I'm just a casual walking here and there, shopping mall, whatever, I do natural looks. Now, if it's to go to a party or to the club or something really, really like, you know, out there, I probably will glam it up a little more. You know, once in a while, it's not harmful to do it. So this is, does look like similar colors you had in a palette before. Does it? I wonder which palette that is. Because I did get a palette last month. Hmm. No, I think it was a... I think a palette before. But yeah, that is Deuce of Colors. This retails for $18. So what is that so far? Um, 85 and 18. That's close. Hey, Punk J, how you doing? I hope you're having a great Friday. So I think that's almost 90 maybe a hundred dollars plus right am i right no 90 90 something no i'm right it is like a hundred and something now a hundred what a hundred and three yeah 103 it's hard to think when you're trying to do the math off your head and then what else? I got these right here. I have these right here. These are the pop band. Um, I'm looking at my daughter because she's over there doing a mess on the floor. And I'm like, oh my God. So um, these are self-heating pop mats will encourage circulation around the eye area and aid in deep puffing and relaxing. You may find that they can, oh, look at that. Yeah, right, Jay, like always. Um, you may find that they might help ease migraines. And I just had like a migraine just, I think it was last week, right? Um, 
It soothes dry eyes and support restless sleep. Once the pouch is open, the eye mask will start to gently warm. Pop the loops around your ears, sit back and relax. So these, I don't know if it's a set that's $10 or one of them is $10 because it really doesn't say, no, yeah. The pop set for two is 10. So basically it's $5 each, I'm thinking, monthly. So I don't know, I might try them. <gasps> and you know what? I haven't had a migraine in a long, long time since last Friday because since I've been having the window cracked open, yes, the fan is on. It's been helping me out with the heat that's in the apartment. So, so far I haven't had no migraines. But, you know, TMI, it is that time of the month, and now I'm cramping, but not as bad. So, thankfully, thank God, it's not as bad. Um, maybe it's just because of the whole having children and, you know, some other elements. But, yeah. So, I'm going to try this. May cause complete relaxation and deep sleep. May ease migraines and tension headaches. It might cause a feeling of re refreshness when waking. Do not operate anything while wearing your style eye pop marks. No stars will harm in making these iPads. That's what it says on the back. I'm reading what it says on the back. So, um... So they say the warmth would last up to 20 minutes. So only 20 minutes of relaxation, which is not bad. You know, you put it on, you lay there and you relax. Who don't need at least a couple of minutes to relax, especially a mom, especially a mom. So I'll try these out and see how I feel about them. And if I like them, I probably would reorder some more because I'm always looking for something to keep my eyes looking refreshed and nice, especially, you know, right now I can't complain about sleep, being honest. I've been going to sleep at a reasonable time, been doing what I have to do for the kids, and I still get back into bed because, you know, baby girl goes back to sleep for another couple of minutes, you know, a couple of hours. So as she's resting, I rest as well. I'm going to take all the rest I can. And then I normally start my mornings, like I said, I think here before about 930, 1030. You know, that's when I start my day. And then I'm up all the way until almost 10 at night, maybe 11. So it gives me, I feel like I have something on my arm sorry <laughs> creepy um so it gives me enough time to do what i have to do throughout the day cook clean do errands and stuff like that um so i feel a little more rested you know what i'm saying i was trying my hardest to put out a video this week but it's that time of month. yeah i know i know that feeling trust me right now like i said i'm editing a video that i'm hoping to have up for monday because i have two vlogs um i was gonna do a week-long vlog but then i realized that i put two days together and it, it was enough to me for three minutes so i was like you know what i'm gonna do two days there and then i'll put the rest on another video so next week you guys might be spoiled you might have a video on monday and um video on wednesday and then me live on friday so that you know i can complete the next two weeks um with videos because vlogmas is around the corner and i don't want to kind of like have vlogs that i had for november going into december so yeah um vlogmas is gonna happen this year hopefully you know mix it up for me Vlogmas might not be like vlogs per se but videos every day i'm gonna do my best either a sit down chat with you, um, either a makeup look, either a vlog. I'm just gonna have videos every single day in the month of December. So hopefully you guys are okay. I'm gonna kind of like twist it like that my way um, so that it's not always about vlogs, you know? Even though they're fun, but it is time consuming to edit. Hello, Fred. How you doing tonight? Um, so that is my fourth product, and that was $10 for the set. 
just to FYI. And then comes the brushes that everybody's been talking about on YouTube. The BoxyCharm has their own line of makeup brushes. So these right here, real tip, uh, sells for $35, this set right here. And this is pretty. It comes with a nice little pretty, um, I don't know, plastic -y kind of baggy. Um, and let's see, it says, create your favorite look in a total luxury with our first ever BoxyCharm brand brush set. The large multi-purpose powder brush is perfect for liquid, cream, powder, or mineral product. And the foundation brush has an oval base to help with the precise foundation placements and seamless blending. These ultra soft brushes are handcrafted, synthetic and cruelty free. So no animals was harmed in making these brushes. And they've been, they've been all of a rage here. Babes, can you come here, please? Sorry. So these are what they look. I like the whole, um, Holy crap. yeah, just put everything inside the magazine. These do feel nice. They do feel soft. I would try this with foundation, but I think I had said it last time that foundation is something that I don't like using. Where she got this from? Right here on that pouch. They were all sitting, they were inside the magazine sitting right there. Great things, just been sitting pretty casual. I got my face again. Oh, okay, Fred. Don't touch me. Please don't touch. You want to touch? You can touch that, okay? Look, you want to feel? No, no, you want to feel? <gasps> They're so soft. It's not here? No, no, just sit it there. Boom, right there in the box, too. You're sitting right there. Feels nice. She's enjoying it. Oh, there it goes. It's fiddling. This is really nice. So this right here, what did I say for this one? This one right here is good for, what is this? Uh, this is for precise foundation placement. This one? And then this one is good for liquid, cream, powder, and mineral. I think the this is like a blush brush. No, she's not putting on makeup, but I was just like making her feel the brushes because they're so... Oh my God, Jen, if you feel these brushes, they're so... And they feel like very compacted, like all the little brushes are like literally together, like sardines. And it's just, you know, I have makeup brushes, but these feel so, oh my God. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but they feel, they feel soft. Like I don't have makeup on my face, but can you imagine like putting foundation with this? And then maybe this would be good for like whatever. I don't know. They said this is good for the foundation, but I don't know. Like they feel really good. I wish they would have gave us a little more, like maybe eyeshadow um, brushes or, you know, other ones. Maybe they will in the future. I don't know. But for these two together here, guys, $35. And it comes in a nice little pouchy bag to put it in so that's really nice i really like that um but it's the hype about these brushes are true they are utterly soft like buttery soft i'm like i'm shocked this is like the main reason why i really wanted to open this box because i really wanted to see how soft these brushes were so 35 dollars there and then doo -doo -doo -doo. That was all in my box. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Plus, like I said, they are starting to do a new little thing. And they're putting like stuff like this in the box. Um, this is concealer. So 
they do concealers and they sometimes put like little foundation um, testers so they can see what color comes close to your skin. And then you take the survey again and you let them know which one fits your um, your face. Does the bag feel silicone? Yeah. You can say that. Yeah. That's what it feels like. You're right. It's plasticky. But it's nice, you know. It's kind of hefty, you know. It keeps the nice and safe inside. So, But this right here is by Pretty Vogel. I think that's how you say it. It's the undercover lightweight concealer. So they have four different um, concealers. So basically you have to figure out which one comes to your closest. Um, here they only show four. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in the back they have more. You see they got more range. But honestly, why did it do this to me? I should have been ranged from light white lies all the way to medium brown. But they put medium mystique in here. I mean, did they decided to put that in there for like a contour? Because honestly, like, do I look that dark boxy charm? Just saying. But in the back, they have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shades. Yeah. Um, the lightest one is for fair, which is Little White Lies. Then the next one is light, which is Veil of Cernaries. I think that's what it says. Um, the next one is light to medium. That's the tippy toe over the line. The next one is medium, which is called medium ground, which is this one. So basically, one, wait a the only one they didn't put here was a light. The only one they put was the fair. The top one's the fair. The second one is the light to medium. The next one is a medium. And then the bottom is rich. So um, after the middle ground, which is the medium, they got on the rocks, which is for tan skin. Sandy lady for deep. Midnight mystique for rich, which is the one that you see here. And then deep rich um, shades, shade of day for days. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So if you guys can see back here, those are the shades that I was reading. Sorry. Um, hopefully the thing will start going blue, 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 because it looks like I got disco lights up here. And the model is wearing the veil of some, something. Can't say that word. I'm not trying to butcher it. Um, so I don't know if they're good. I'm going to try. And there are, this is what they, um, saying it is. It's gluten-free, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, peppermint-free, soft flake free and it's vegan. So not bad. It is what it is. I would have liked it, the foundation, to touch the foundation because, they were giving people foundations so i mean i'll take the concealer because do another concealer the concealer they gave me and i found it i think i made a video that's supposed to be coming up soon and i was having trouble finding my concealer but i did find it um i think Roxy was the one they gave to me and it's the um smashbox one so I've been really enjoying that one for like my under eyes, even though I do have some, it's not really doing its job, but it's worse with this. And if you guys have watched my vlogs, you've seen me without makeup, it looks much worse. So it does help somewhat, but if this one can do better than this one, then we'll see. You never know. Um, yeah, now you can take it if you want to look at it, okay? Yeah. Okay, you can look at it. So this is a Smashbox Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer. It is anti, what up? that's what it says. It's waterproof and it's oil-free and this is in the color light medium. So I've been using this for a while now and I've been loving it. So would I repurchase it? Yeah. 
maybe like if it was in a deal or something because i know smashbox is pretty expensive for like a concealer like this what no i can't give you this and this is glass no this is glass trust me this is glass i'm not giving you this this is glass that's why i haven't never gave it to you Simon. but that is glass that's not plastic <laughs> and i need that oh my god you can still see all the makeup that i tried I don't know. You, the gold is right here. It's like the glittery. I like that gold. That gold is really nice. I have not put makeup on since May. It's been a long time. Yeah. Since May? <laughs> wow. You see, baby girl. Sometimes she likes being there. Sometimes she doesn't. So it depends on how her mood is in a day. So... That's everything that's in my boxy charm, guys. I really, really do like the feel of these brushes. I am really shocked that the hype that's been going around YouTube is really true. Like, Val's makeup brushes feel mm, beautiful. And then these, I'm going to try them, but not tonight. I'll probably Why? try them tomorrow Maybe night because he came in my room. I might try these tomorrow night when I'm more relaxed, after I clean, after I do what I got to do. I'll probably try one of these tomorrow and see how they feel. And then this is pretty nice because, you know, this is a really high-end um, palette. And honestly, like I said, I would rather buy a palette from CVS, Walmart, or Rite Aid that is like under $20 and it still does the same thing. My preferred makeup is Wet n Wild. Like I have so many Wet n Wilds or Maybelline. So this is a kind of like a nice little kind of thing to get in a box so that it gives me an idea if I would have purchased it for real. Cause you know what that is, $50 for a palette yes maybe the makeup is good i don't know but i'm very picky when it comes to my makeup and especially my money <laughs> so that is pretty nice and that was the most expensive thing in the box that was 50 dollars. Uh, no that wasn't 50 dollars. my back that was 35 i said baby girl got the card so i can't see it well you have some pretty awesome stuff here for yeah for the price it's really good like it's a present every time these boxes come to me, honestly, because I get to try very expensive products that honestly, I don't even think I will spend my money on. Mm -mm. Yeah, so that was 35. The other thing was 50, this Juicy Beauty. Um, I have tried products from Juicy Beauty before, but I don't think it was this one. I don't think it was like a little smaller container. It's more like a facial wash, I think it was. And then do of colors, definitely a nice, nice, um, a nice little ad there. I'm trying to get all the products in the box in a certain way so I can show you guys everything that I got. So for those that are coming in and are watching, this is everything in my box. Some people get a little bit of difference, especially this. They might get something different. I think there was something else that they got other than this. Um, I think everybody got the brushes, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but um, the palette, I think everybody got. And I think this, everybody got. But I think it's this right here. I think there was a different liquid that you could get, but I'm not sure what the other product was because, like I said, I didn't get a chance to go and choose. So... You should let your husband try one with you and do a video. What, try one of these? The eye mask? <laughs> so, yeah, this is a nice, hefty box. This is like over $100 worth in this box. And I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I paid $25. I know it's, um, the BoxyCharm prices have been going up lately. So I think I used to pay $21, if I'm not mistaken. And now I think it's $25, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Like every box that is here, the prices are going up. 
just because they're getting more products and the boxes are going to get more expensive like the products that they put in the boxes they're going to go almost over two hundred dollars they said i don't know i could be wrong but i've been trying to keep the loop with boxycharm but since i've been signed with boxycharm i think for one year already i think it's been a year because if i'm not mistaken i think i signed last year with boxycharm or a year before i'll find out and i'll put some of the information down in the description box so you should use the orange with brown sugar thanksgiving with a little bit of hmm yeah you're right we'll see we'll see jed if i decide to do my makeup for thanksgiving because i do do my makeup for thanksgiving for christmas for New Year's and then also there's two there's a couple of birthdays coming so if I do any looks for those days I will do my best to kind of like you know record it you know per se with whatever lighting that I have hopefully it's the good lighting um and then like I said I'll put a picture in my community center here on YouTube and a picture on Instagram so whoever's following there would want to watch a video of me doing it, they can come and watch it, you know? So we'll see. We'll see, Jen. I'm still working on that. You know, I only did one get ready with me one time back, and I think that was like a couple of years ago. And it was like a very natural looking makeup. But I do want to venture into the color sector. I want to start putting some bow colors because, like I said, I do have some... Um, bow looks on my instagram and i look at it and i'm like wow why did i record that look you know what i'm saying why did i just be like you know what i should have recorded that look that look look awesome and i don't know why i didn't i didn't do it you know um let's see something sorry guys i'm just looking at something right now mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you guys for liking the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you for commenting after the video goes up. Let me know what you guys want to really watch here. Again, YouTube and their rules are changing again, and it's just crazy. Um, what else can I say? But have a blessing Friday, guys. Really, have a great, great Friday. Enjoy Friday. I mean, it's the best day of the week probably, right? Maybe sometimes it's Saturday, depending on if you got to work. <laughs> they suck. Why do they suck? <laughs> uh, Jen, why, why do they suck? I mean, I like Fridays. You know, it's a day that I can get to really lay back, chill back. I don't have to worry about getting up in the morning. I mean, maybe for some people, like I said, some people might have to get up the next day but i don't i don't have to get up for the next maybe two days i know right they do they do because like i said i started first youtube back in 2014 and it was like it was fun you know i used to watch so many youtubers had fun on youtube um you know do their thing they to do scary games is scary now it's like you gotta be in your tippy toes because you gotta be careful you don't do something that youtube is gonna be like you know what no more for you you know and it's sad you know you made it you made this platform for people to be open and be themselves and you know be who they want to be i understand there are some things that shouldn't be said but how can I say it without sounding really bad? You know, YouTube was fun. Let's put it that way. YouTube was so much fun before. And now it really, it does feel like a nine to five job with all these rules that they're implementing on us. It does feel like a nine to five job, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody's doing their own thing. And, um, you know, Ja has a baby that's like a handful like mine. Um, 
Tiffany has hers, who's I think May. It's May, June, June, July, August, September, October, November. Like six months now, she had her baby. Um, Jay is not coming back to YouTube. We all know that he's not coming back unless he comes back and just chat with us. That'll be fun. Um, Tara's been doing her thing, you know, moving, starting a new job. Who else? Ali. You know, I've been watching her videos. She's still doing things here and there. I don't know if she gets notifications, but <clears throat> I do watch her. Who else? Who else is in the gang? Amari. He popped up a couple of weeks ago, which was amazing. Um, but he's been busy doing his own thing as well, trying to get fit and working that nine to five job. So everybody's kind of like doing their own thing, you know? Like, I don't know, ever since I stopped doing the lives back in 2018, which was around like, I think April and May, like everybody started doing their own venture. And I mean, last week we had a couple of them here, so Let's see what happens, you know? You never know. I try to start pretty early. I try to start at 8 o'clock so that people can come, you know. Right now, Kelly's 5 o'clock, but knows what Tiffany's doing. Um, um, ja is about an hour from me, so it's probably 8 o'clock for her. She's probably playing her game because a hubby got her her game. Uh, I follow her on Instagram, so... Yes, Purple and Blue is still doing their video, going strong. I just watched one of their videos today. They did a premiere um, that uh, Blue took some stuff that Purple bought and kind of like put it up on the screen and kind of like predicted it. Um, so they're still doing their things, you know. Everybody's doing their things, you know. Uh, I probably would do a premiere on Monday. I like doing some premieres. Basically, if you know what a premiere is, it's a live video i could chat you can chat but i'm not on the screen it's actually my video that i edited what no mm -mm. no you want chips here here no don't you start it here enjoy <laughs> yeah so and, and like again like i said i don't really understand what would be considered kid friendly or not kid friendly. Mm. Well, honestly, kids watch everything. I mean, generally speaking, some kids would just sit there and watch anything, even if it's not for them. So even if I market not, not for kids, kids will still watch. That's the crazy thing. You gonna feed mommy? Yeah. She's feeding me chips. Oh, you gonna eat your chip too? Yeah, so it's been a good week. Um, I think I've vlogged twice this week, um, the most because, like I said, my videos are now. I'm I'm starting to change them up a little, not because of YouTube rules, just because I'm gonna start vlogging more every other day instead of every single day now. Like, kind of cut down because editing is really not that hard, but when you have a baby that's constantly wanting to breast milk or wants your attention. It's not as easy as people seems it is. And, you know, the two big ones don't bother me, you know. The older ones do what they want to do. They're in the living room and they get entertained easily. But the little one, either she wants my attention or she wants daddy's attention. And then when she gets tired, it's, you know, she's all over the place. Uh-huh. Exactly. She's really like, I want the attention. 
It's all about me, me, me. And it's crazy. It really is. Is that good? Hey, watch it. Well, so far she's been doing good with milk. Yes, I said it. She is starting to drink a little bit of milk, which is a blessing if most of you knows. She is 14 months and still wants to breastfeed, but it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Um, so she is getting a little taste for milk, which is good. Um, and it's a, a it's a, a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, it is like the best thing. So now she's drinking water, a little bit of milk. Uh-uh, get out of that bag. That's not for you. And a little bit of juice. I do give a juice, not a lot, because I don't condone juice like that. And that's about it. And she eats. This little girl, oh, no, 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 watch the makeup. What up? I don't think the makeup transferred. I put my hand down on my pants, and I don't see no makeup transfer. And I'm wearing blue jeans, mind you. And I don't see none. Skylin, don't pull on that as boot bag. Don't do that. So I am snacking on some cheese doodles. I know it's not a good snack, but you know, I like me some cheese doodles occasionally. Not all the time, but occasionally. Like I said, I eat everything in moderation. Um, it's not an everyday thing. You could tell, you watch my lives. I've never really munched on a lot of stuff on live, so. This is the first time you see me munching, so what happened, Mama? No, you're not touching my stuff. You're not touching that. No, you're trying to climb onto the bed so you can grab my makeup. That's what you're trying to do. No. Mm -mm. Sorry, honey. No, no. She's literally trying to climb on the cat on the bed so she could touch my makeup, and you're not doing that. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. So, yeah, today I did go to Dollar Tree, but before you get happy, I didn't go there to buy anything any special. I went there so I can pick up some hot dog buns and um, some snacks. And I found it again, the Activia, the Activia um, yogurt drinks. I found them again today. And girl, they only had six left. I took every last one. <laughs> I took every last one because I love them. I love, love, love the Activia. Wait up. I'm going to ask to give you the Activia. She likes it too. She loves the Activia. I wish I had some of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops, did my camera just shake? What? You want to show everybody your paper? Is that what you want to show? Uh-uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Want to touch the makeup? <laughs> you see how she's touching me. Touching the makeup. This lipstick kind of dried, kind of meh, but I don't know if it's like. Where did you put my paper at, Mama? I can't even tell you about this makeup because she took my paper and I don't know where she put it at. I can't even tell you about the Duce, um, Duce of Colors. I don't know if it's like a matte finish or what. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? What you want? You want you want attention. You want people to look at you now. What's wrong with you? Okay, you want to talk? Okay, right, go ahead, talk. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like the Greek ones. I like the Atibia ones. For some reason, those... Oh, excuse me. 
honestly, I'm not a yogurt person. I've never been a yogurt person. But when I tasted the Activia ones, I was like in love. I can eat them and tolerate them. They don't taste weird or funny. I don't know, for me anyway, for my taste buds. But I've tried everything, like every other yogurt that they have, but I don't like it. Like, Ativia is the only one that I have a taste for. And trust me, I've tried the other ones in strawberries, and this is the only strawberry that I like. It's, I don't know, something about this yogurt tastes really, really good. And they say that this yogurt is really good for your digestive system. So, you know, that's another plus that I like. Yeah, yeah, right? She's just... She's just talking. That's your ears? That's your ears? Ears? Hand? You don't want to hear no more? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she want to hear no more. Yeah? You're telling my future. Oh, okay. You're reading my hand. Okay. What what what's my future holds? Tell me. She's looking at my problem my hand. And that's the makeup. It's not gonna come out. It's not gonna come out. Oh, okay. Man, I haven't been to the one that I like by ten uh, by um by the train station. Oh my god, I haven't been out there. I miss it so much. I need to revisit it, but it's like down the hill, and it's just like, do I really want to go down the hill? But I gotta visit it. I haven't done it in over I want to say a year. You know, I gotta visit it. I really do. Even though I don't really need much, cause I got some of the stuff from the year before for the christmas tree that's another thing i might be decorating next week because i see everybody putting up their christmas tree so i don't know i might just do it next week you know get in the closet get all the decorations out and get it ready next week before thanksgiving um at least just have the tree done and then probably decorate the living room later on after um thanksgiving i don't know we'll see She's over here playing herself. Nobody can see you. I see her from yeah, I know. She she wants to be in the attention. She thinks everybody can see her from down there. Nobody can see you from down there. Oh, you're gonna come back up? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Don't put that in your mouth. You can play with it, but don't put that. Oh, you're gonna give it to Daddy? <laughs> He's strong. Don't put that in your mouth. Can you leave it to daddy? Oh, she gave it to you. Uh oh. He's like, no, don't throw that out. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Do you hear yourself? <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody. I see people coming in and out. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Um, I already did my unboxing. So if you guys are interested, you're going to have to wait till the live goes up. It's the first hour of this video. Also, if you want to ask me any questions, go ahead. Um, I'm a semi-open book. You know what I'm saying? There will be certain things that I won't be comfortable answering but anything that i do feel comfortable asking answering i will so go ahead feel free ask away um you know sergi was asking me questions i don't know what he disappeared to he was having fun and then i don't know <laughs> sergi I'm not giving you that because you already drank milk and milk and juice don't go together. Hey, Remix, how you doing, girl? You already did. Oh, my God. I'm so behind, right? I'm going to be like the last one to decorate for Christmas. 
<laughs> I might be the last one to decorate. I don't know. And it's officially, I mean, I know last year it was her first Christmas. But I feel like this is really going to be her first, first Christmas. She's gonna, she actually going to see the Christmas tree. And what, we're, what we're worried about is she's going to grab the ornaments of the trees. So that's the main reason I don't think I haven't put anything up yet. Because I'm scared that she's going to yank at stuff and that tree is just going to go boom, you know. So I'm a little scared about that. I'm not a slide. She's up and down, up and down this one. Really? Really, Skylin? You might have to change your shirt before she goes to bed. She's getting dirty? Yeah, with cheese doodles. <laughs> she, she's been eating this. Baby girl's been enjoying this, and so have I. So. Huh? Wait a minute. And I bought it from Dollar Tree, guys. <laughs> I got this for one dollar. Well, yeah, technically one dollar. <laughs> um, I even got um, what is that bread brand? Um. Some kind of expensive bread that you go to your local supermarket, you're paying about four or five dollars. Some raisin bread. I bought that today for a dollar. <laughs> Do you hear her? That's baby girl. She thinks she can read. Yeah. She took over my show. justice gold is like i don't know if i do that gold i have to wet the brush that gold doesn't really pop up too much you're gonna come up what you're gonna read to the people what you gonna okay you're telling them the rules uh-huh yeah, okay. Okay, I see. I see how you feel about it. So you don't want to sign a contract, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. like, I'm the baby. <laughs> no. I'm baby that you Oh, okay. They said that she looks like you. Mm -hmm. She looks like you. Who said that? Jen said that she looks just like you. She looks like her dad. I know. Splitting image. He drove me crazy through my pregnancy. You know they can hear you, right? They can literally hear you. I gotta right. be careful not to hit that right. internet. I know she knows. <laughs> She's reading the script of the day. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
Gotta be careful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So, oh, come on, be careful. I'm talking to my friends here. You can't be putting paper in my face, mama. You gotta be nice. You want to, okay, you want me to look at it, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, it says a lot. <laughs> okay. Can you put that on to go back and forth? Because it's starting to get really hot with these lights on. Yeah, it gets hot after a while with the lights. I can imagine the YouTubers that use those other lights, like the umbrella lights, and they're always on them. Woo! I can Im Yo, I'm not a slide, chica. Okay? I'm trying to be careful. She don't want to walk around. She wants to sit on me. What they watching over there? Mm. And it's funny because the rules that they have, <laughs> right? It's her, it's, her, it's her channel now, right? It's not a phone. You make anything a telephone, huh? <laughs> you make anything a phone. Um, yeah, so before you even go live now, before you upload a video now, you are being asked if it's made for kids. And honestly, I say no. My videos are not made for kids. I've never, my audience was never tended for kids. But then again, if you tell them that you want it for audience 18 and older, they still going to take your ads away. So it's like, YouTube, what are you doing? What are you do? Where do YouTube cross the line? Like, I don't want my content to be for kids, but then if you mark that you don't want it to be restricted for 18 and over, they can actually kind of play around with that. And that's crazy. Yeah. What? That's so crazy. I don't know. I'm like, and this whole change is going to start December 10th, I think, because I got the email. But then by January, like January 1st, you, you have to choose your whole entire, what your whole channel is about, you know? And again, when I first started this channel, I didn't really involve kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was just me, basically me doing Dollar Tree hauls me doing unboxings, me just chit-chatting. It was only me. I did sometimes vlog because I did Vlogmas two years ago because I thought it was fun, and it was. A lot of work, I got to say. Yeah. I've been monetized for now, I want to say two years. Yeah, I got monetized back in 2017. So, and I'm just starting to learn how to work the ads, how to like add the ads. I've missed out so much money before because I didn't know that we as YouTubers, we can control the, where we put our ads because I was still so new to be monetized and stuff. So now I'm like, okay, I'm looking around and I'm learning the ropes and now they throw in this. And I'm like, really? Like, once I've learned how to put ads on my video and start really monetizing my video the way I want to, now they throw this, oh, you got to make sure it's not for kids and all these new things they adding. And I'm like, it's just like, that's why I think, like I said, I'm still going to do YouTube because I love doing YouTube. I've met so many friends here on YouTube, but I might be starting to stream our mixer because on mixer you can actually do like this you could do chat you could do gaming you could do your cooking you could do makeup you just gotta um before you start your stream you have to label it the proper title and then you know that's how it works twitch does the same thing as well you can chat there you could do makeup you could do um you could draw everything that YouTube you could do, you could do over there, but 
record and upload like the way you do here. That's the only thing that I feel Mixer and Twitch doesn't have necessarily. But I feel like Mixer is going to be the best platform right now because, like I said before, chat comes in and I can read it. It's no real delays. Like, like I told you, here delays are seven seconds or more, depending on the internet service you have and how fast things move. You know what I'm saying? But with Mixer, everything is like boom, 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 really fast. You write. A second later, I'm answering your question or I see your comment. Twitch is, I say, four to five seconds. It's better than YouTube, but it's still a delay. But I don't know, a lot of people leaving Twitch just because it's a little harder to get partnered on Twitch than it is Mixer. I think that's what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's true. But I think, like I said, starting in January of 2020, I will be at least streaming three times a week on Mixer. That's like my goal to go on Mixer, stream a couple of games, maybe one day do a chat like I do here on YouTube and just chillax and stuff like that. And just, you know, do what I got to do there, you know, work my, my butt over there as well. And you get to do the same, almost the same things here. There are ads over there. Um, people. Right there. Um, people can donate to your um, PayPal account, which I do. I have it set up. I've had it set up since I had Twitch. Um, I don't know. I might be including it here on this channel as well because. I heard that when you do super chat, even YouTube take parts of that. That's what I heard. So I don't know how true that is. Yeah. So I probably would put my PayPal account down below. I don't do cash app because I've been having trouble trying to kind of add a card to it because you have to have a card in order to like use the money or something like that. So I'm trying to figure out how to use cash app. So in case anybody would love to donate to help the channel, whatever, they could use those two formats and YouTube won't take the percentage. Like a lot of YouTubers have been doing that now. They've been saying, look, don't super, I mean, you know, do super chat if you want to, but if you really want to give the creator the whole total that you want, then either give it to them through PayPal accounts or Cash App, you know, one of those two. Because YouTube is just, like I said, playing himself. You know what I'm saying? This was supposed to be a fun venture, a place where you can have fun and still make some kind of income. Um, not saying that you can't make income somewhere else. Like I said, I can make income a mixer, Twitch, everywhere else. Everywhere on the internet, you can do it. Social media can help, but you can do any kind of work on your computer. Trust me, there's a lot of home at work kind of jobs you can do on a computer, you know, and YouTube was one of the fun ones because you get to control it. You know, you work on your own time, you edit your own work, but now it's like, now, now they have stickers that we can pay for and send it to you. See that I still haven't understand too much about the stickers. I been trying to look to me, it's the same thing as Super Chat, Jen. That's what I'm looking at. Same thing. Only thing they give you like a little cute character to add to your Super Chat. So it's like, really? So you're updating Super Chat with a cute little sticker, but yet you're making me choose whether I'm doing kids content or not kids content because that's going to be like, and then that's not the only thing. It's not like they're going to, it, it, they might take the ads away and they also might take the comments away they might take the likes away um what else and they also might take the community area of the youtube away so it's basically you can make these videos but there's no way to communicate with the youtuber unless follow them on another social platform which is instagram Facebook, Twitter, or Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, Jen, they're taking the likes out of Instagram. 
So I feel like, what is social media doing? Like, I understand that there are certain things that they're doing because of the whole bullying thing and, you know, that other word that I'm not going to mention here because the minute you mention it, they demonetize your video. Um, it's just ridiculous. Like, it is what it is. Social media is really rough. You know, you're going to have haters and the ones that love you. And it is what it is. Some people got strong skin, some people don't. And it's sad that we live in a society that people like likes to pick on people, not realizing whether or not they are strong enough to take it, you know? And then stuff happens and then I hear no more. You know what I'm saying? It won't need to become part of the thing, but I don't think I will. Oh, okay. Yeah, because of all the pictures you've been putting up, Jen. That's why. Don't do that. You're lucky I got to wash the sheet tomorrow. Um, so it's crazy, you know? So um, I'm hoping the guy who's fighting for us do get a point through because, honestly, I feel like between YouTube and that other COPPA, whatever their name is, they are trying to tell us how to parent our kids, basically. Because the way he speaks, I feel like, wow, they're taking our right away as parents to choose whether or not what we want our kids to watch. That's how I feel. And it's like, okay, I know they're trying to keep our kids safe and all well. But how safe can you keep them? You can't really keep them safe forever because they got to get into this world. I'm not always going to be there for them. They are going to step out into this crazy world where mommy and daddy is not going to be with them, you know? And things are going to happen and stuff is going to fly around that they don't understand because some parents are too, you know, they want to close their kids and there's like, oh, this doesn't happen. Oh, this don't happen. No, I don't want you watching this. Or, I mean, I know at a certain age, you know, properly you, you introduce them to certain things. But there's a lot of parents that don't even say it or nothing. Even once they hit a certain age, they still want to keep them like if they were babies. And I think that's really wrong when you do that to your 18-year-old and you're telling her or him, oh, no, don't look at that. Don't do this. Don't. Because now when they really do go into this world, they be like, my mom never told me that. I've never seen that. I didn't know that was for that. Trust me. You don't want to blind them from everything, but for something, you know? And as they age, you just open them up a little more, you know? I'm just saying. But if you don't feel comfortable, then let someone else teach them that has a knowledge to that. Because that's what, like I said, my mom did for me. Um, my son's school did it too. They had their own classes that teach them the birds and the bees. Um, so... I didn't have to speak to him about it, but I'm not scared. I'm not scared to talk to him about that because honestly, how do you think you came to this world? You didn't come from a stalk and you didn't come from whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I kept I keep it a hundred real with my kids. That's this is me as a parent. I keep it one hundred. What happened, mama? You can get it? Can you get it? Got it? You need help? You need help? Sky. Mama, you need help? You need help? I can get it for you. I'm ready to get it for you. Yay! You got it. She was like, no, mommy, I got it. You see? She's ready to turn. Oh! Really? Wow, we turned that off. Oh my God, I heard that from over there. No way, are you kidding me? For reals? That's sad, that's sad, like, mm -mm. <laughs> I 
you hear yourself? She's like, because she's screaming and they're watching over there. And they're watching over there in the living room. Now, thankfully, my mom was nice enough to sign the consent for me to have that class. And I learned so, so much. So I think that's what helped me not think about a child until I was in my in my 20s, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, that, like I said, needs to be spoken more in the house. She protesting. <laughs> she protesting. No, she was making that noise because, like I said, they're watching me over there in the living room. So when she heard herself scream, she's like, she's like, I hear myself. She can hear herself. So she's like, and then she did it again. She's like, what the? So yeah, she knows her own voice. She she recognizes her own voice and everything. Um, she be doing some cute stuff. Like I wish I could record a lot more stuff with her but like i said with this new youtube rules i'll like like i said i might just wind up putting most of my vlogs on my other channel same name but it has vlog at the end and i'll probably just put it there um it's connected to this channel but i've never really did much with it but put a couple of videos that i already had put here but like i said if anything happens i'll just start vlogging on that channel and start doing the mixer and then have both platforms going. I know there's going to be a lot of work, but for me, I like doing this. I like doing YouTube and doing social media because I can be around my babies and still make some kind of, you know, profit, which is, like I said, this is a lifesaver for me. You know, I can still be a mom and still make income. You know, it helps moms still be a mom but still work, you know, because it is still work. I don't care whoever says YouTube is not work. It is work, especially when you're editing your videos and you have crunch time. And when you're working with a company, like you got a sponsorship, you got to do the video right. You got to send it to them first and then they have to approve it. And if they don't approve it, you have to go back to the drawing board and re-record the video. It's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? I will. I will, Jen. And it's a lot of work. People don't realize. You know, editors get paid lots and lots of money. You know, in Hollywood, what do you think? How do you think you even watch a movie? If it's not an editor that does that movie down to the T, you guys wouldn't even have a movie to watch. Yeah, the actors, they, you know, you need the actors and you need the directors and you need the tech people and stuff. But at the end of the day, if the editor don't know what to put what together, you're not watching a movie, period, a movie, a show, whatever it is, without the editor, there's nothing to watch. Honestly, and they get money. They get tons and tons of money in Hollywood for doing that. So if that's like... That alone there takes time because honestly, I'm very picky with my music. I'm very picky whether I want to speed certain scenes to make it look better, shorten down the video. I might have to omit some scenes out just to make the, the, the video a certain length because sometimes people might like long videos because I've had some people comment that they do love the long videos. But then you have people that like to watch videos that are 10 to 15 minutes long. So I try to work, you know, balance them off, give some long videos and then some the short videos. And I understand why some of them want short videos because some people don't have the time and day to watch hours and hours of YouTube, you know. If you're not really a stay-at-home parent, or just doing the same thing we're doing. Not a lot of people have time, you know? Um, but me, I have a lot of time in my hand most of the time. So I always watch and support other YouTubers here. I really do. Even when I'm sitting down editing, I'm still watching. I could be watching my watch to support other people because I know how hard they work to do that video. 
you know some videos are like hours long and they cut it down to 30 minutes that takes a lot of work to do and trust me believe me i've done it i've done it to the point that like i said in one of my videos one of my vlogs was about to be an hour long and i cut it down to 45 minutes okay 45 minutes it was an hour long but like i said i omitted some scenes that i felt like hey they don't need to be there and right water he's, he's coming out with water i didn't know that but water like <laughs> yo people make money off of funny things water the most natural thing that you could just put in your refrigerator you can buy a filter and you do it yourself like that's ridiculous people are we really spending five dollars for water when water's supposed to be for free i'm just saying just buy yourself a water filter filter your own bottle water and you save money you get more money more water bottles out of a one filter than buying five dollars every day i'm just i don't know <laughs> i i don't know my filter that i have lasts me at least three to four months and i can get a lot of water out of that you know i filter my own water i got the um the zero and it's like the five gallon tank so i have it in the refrigerator and i fill it up every other day and stuff and then I take that and I fill my 25 ounce bottle and I have like maybe three, almost three, usually it's two, because since I do breastfeed, I have to drink lots and lots of water, you know? So it's like, are you kidding me? That's why I don't understand why people are still buying bottle of water. Like why? Like why? You can do your own filter water and get one of those bottle waters that they sell. I have one that's for like 24 hour cold, you know, and it's 20, I think it's 25 ounces. My hubby had a 32 ounce. I have a 25 ounce. And like I said, I drink about three of them. I try my best to at least get three of them just because of breastfeeding. And it's good. Water is good for your skin. You know, you really want to hydrate your skin, drink water. I mean, I'm not saying you don't have to, you, you can't drink anything else, but water is the best thing for your whole entire body. It's what you made out of it, most of it. But that's crazy. Will Smith and his son is looking for people to sponsor his water. I'll tell you, there's certain things that I would do for sponsorship but that right there, I I don't care how much money. They can pay me $10 million and I still won't do it because I feel water should be a free thing. It runs through the whole entire world. Maybe some places are more dirty than others, but, you know, they do have filters. Where did you get? Um, I get my filters at Target. I get them there. Um... I'm going to lift you up, guys, because she is going to breastfeed. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I get them at Target. I get two for about the for 50 bucks. And they do have a bigger box. with. They have, like, four of them. Sorry, Mama. They have four in a box, and I think that one's a little more pricier. But it's worth it. Like, ever since I've been using the filter, I've been drinking that water like it was juice. It tastes that good. And it saves me a lot more money, you know. I just fill up my little bottle thing um, and take it everywhere I go. Basically, the bottle that I have that I got, I got it from um, Burlington, Co Burlington. And it's like I said, it's a 25-ounce bottle. So basically, it's, I want to say, three 8-ounce bottles in that thing. Basically, when you buy an 8-ounce in the stores, depending on where you get it, some place it could be a dollar, some place it could be a dollar twenty-five. So you're saving money if you get one of those bottles that is stays cold for a very, very long time. 
and you're saving money in your pocket in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Because me and my husband, we was going to get the, um, you know, that water bottle um, jug thing machine, which would have been a good investment. But then I'm like, mm, I'm still paying for water. Do I really want to pay for water when water is free? I'm just saying. Um, because people here love the water. I mean, my family, they love drinking that water. And it, <laughs> I'm telling you. Here, the water doesn't last long. That's how they love the water. <laughs> Drink your milk. You just want to hear yourself. That's what it is. <laughs> She's screaming so she can hear herself. You funny. Yeah, you funny. Any more teeth? Let me see. Ah. Yeah, she's also starting to brush her teeth too. So nobody can see you right now. Because... Ah, don't you dare bite me. What is that flying in the sky? It's like something floating in the air. Some weird stuff. She's trying to bite my finger. Nobody can see you now. Because I moved up the camera so nobody can see you. <laughs> yeah, it's there. You know, it's it's past your bedtime, right? You know that, right? <laughs> she being funny. Yeah, and I and I've had that zero um i want to say now for over three years i did the other one i did the pure for a while the one that you attach to the sink but i wasn't really enjoying how the water was coming out and it's probably because of the way the um the way my sink faucet is it's not like one of those things that hang down it's more like this so when the water came down, the pressure wasn't coming strong enough. And I felt like it took forever to fill a gallon of water. So that's why we decided just to go with the zero. And it was the best decision we did. Like the best thing, five gallons of water. It lasts about a day and a half or so. And yeah, watch it. Don't throw it on the floor. Don't throw it on the floor, okay? So yeah. Um, who else is up in here? Let me check. Mama, move over so I can see who else is in my chat. Mm -hmm. Who is in my chat? Trying to see who else is on, guys. Mm -hmm. What you doing? What you doing? Oh my Lord, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, an update on, on the whole um, thing that I spoke last week, Jen, and for anyone else that was here last week. I gotta say it's been a week and a half since I've started this, um, excuse me, leave it alone. Um, about like a week and a half since I started this positive um thinking kind of like journey and so far i want to report that things have been so so good um like i said i sleep better at night i wake up very energetic ready to take on the day um i do what she says in her video you know before you start touching any electronics or doing anything sit there and Think of everything that you're grateful for. Like literally sit there and think what you're grateful for. What are you feeling good about? And then, excuse me, stop. I'm sorry, she's not a computer, so I don't want to touch it. Um, and then you go on through your day and it feels like my day feels so like really good. I get things done, like I said. Um, I get to sweep and mop and dust and do laundry and 
I feel like everything feels really, I don't know, very light. If that's how it feels, it feels easier. Like I feel not so bombarded like before. I feel so good doing it. Like before I felt, I love cleaning, don't get me wrong, but now I feel so energetic and ready to do it. Like I plan out what I'm gonna do for the day and I get it done, you understand? If I'm gonna do mopping, sweeping, and maybe one room, I get it done. And then when I decide, okay, I'm gonna cook beef stew, or I'm gonna cook the 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 soft shelves, or whatever meal, I think about it and I set a time for it. I do what I gotta do, and it's done. So I don't know. Maybe it does work, like just thinking positive and doing the positive. Um, thinking before you getting up and thinking before you go to sleep, it just makes you feel a little more lighter. <laughs> if that's something to say, but yeah, I feel much like, I don't feel heavy shoulder no more. You know, I, I'm starting to learn that you can't change anybody but yourself. And it's, it was one of those lessons that I really had to learn for myself. Oh, sorry. I hit your earring. I'm sorry. Um, so by just watching her, and it's funny, by watching her, I've been finding other um, motivator speakers that talk about the lot of attractions. And my feed has been positive lately. Like all the recommendations has been very good. I haven't gotten the crazy drama stuff that's been going on YouTube and everything like that. So I'm thankful, 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 thankful for that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy about a lot of things in my life. And like, I can't wait for bigger and better things to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I've been talking about moving out. I'm hoping and praying for that. I just throw it out to the universe. Um, Some place where my kids can just be kids, you know? a community with some amenities, um, making it like my own franchise. Like I talked about last week, I do want to start um, freelancing my beauty stuff, you know, um, maybe do hair, makeup or something like that, because I did go to school for that. So I'm putting it out there. Um, that's why I'm starting to see. Oh, no. You mama. You mala. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I came with you. You mala, she threw all her chips there. Hey, Tanya. It's okay, because I got to clean these sheets tomorrow. I clean these sheets every week. How you doing, Tanya? Baby girl made a mess with this. All over the bed. But I don't get mad, because I can wash the sheets. You see what I mean? Why get upset? You could clean it. Because before, I could really get pissed off. But now I'm like, I'm just going to clean it. I got a washing machine. That's what washing machines are made for. And I get to eat. <laughs> yeah, everything's good, Tanya. Real good. Oh. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. I got cheese doodle all over my face. <laughs> She's getting so big. Compared to when I first gave birth to her, she was so tiny. Right, Mama? You were so tiny. It was a munchkin, but you still my munchkin, right? You still mommy's munchkin. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like following their instructions and doing what they're they're doing and saying things like thinking about yes, it will happen and yes, this and not trying to think negative words has been helping so much in my mind, like. I feel good. I'm telling you, I feel 100% better. 
that I did about a week and a half ago. Oh. Honest. <laughs> yeah, no, right. She's a doll. Oh, a doll with cheese doodle all over her face and fingers. Ew. <laughs> He's so funny. He's so funny. He's funny. He's so funny. She's looking at herself because I got the big screen on. And that's how I see it. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I hate when you, I don't know. She does this thing with her teeth. She grinds oh. them. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> do you know anybody who grinds their teeth? Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, she was grinding her teeth. I don't know. That's like, oh, that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right, Cynthia? <laughs> she's she's doing it. She's still in the whole show. At least now she's doing it now because earlier I was testing some makeup because I got my boxy charm. Hey, don't you dare go up there. No. You know better than to go over there. Get your butt out of there. Come on. Ugh. Get away from over there. Get your butt from over there. You know better than to be over there. Here, eat your chips that you felt. You dropped them all over the bed. You're trying to go up to that corner and touch what's in that dish. <laughs> oh, they did too? Oh, I don't like that. It's just like, oh, that grinding sounds like, oh. Like it feels like their teeth are breaking, but they're, I mean, they're not. But technically they are. I heard that they are. But it's oh, oh my god, she's got cheese doodles and everything on this blanket. I'm gonna have to take it off. She's got cheese doodle all over my blanket. Oh, yeah. The first time I heard her do that, I was like, you know, because she only has like the front teeth, like she has four in the top and two in the bottom. And usually, when somebody grinds their teeth, it's mainly because of the molars. And she doesn't have a molars right now yet that I that I know. She doesn't have it. I haven't seen them. So I'm like, she's literally grinding the front of her teeth, which is like, oh, <laughs> I know. I put a face, and I'm like, oh no. They're trying like, like a cheese doodle crunching. Like, it's weird. Yeah. So. I mean, the cheese is off the bed because I'm a little upset, but you know. So, um, you're homeschooling, right, Tanya? How's that going? I think the last time you. Cheese doodle on my bed. <laughs> For real? Oh my God, is it that complicated? Is it that hard? Wow. Oh. Um, but what are the ages? Like, maybe that's what it was. Because I'm going to start mine for very young. So, I mean, she's, I'll probably start teaching her by two years old because right now she's like communicating. I don't know what was going on with my YouTube. It was broken for a little while. Wow, no, it's okay. It's okay, Jam. Oh, yeah. Those are the ages. Yep. Eight and 10. Yep. That's, those are handful ages. Maybe if you started sooner, maybe it would have probably been easier. Like when they're at like real babies and up, I think it would have been easier. But I feel like once they already had a taste of school, 
and then you take them out to try to do homeschool, I feel like they're so used to going to school and having a teacher and everything, and then you're the one that's going to be teaching them. They're going to test you. They're going to test you to the point that be like, you know what? She's my mom. She's going to let me do what I want to do. And, nah. and that's where the whole thing happens. So there was one thing I couldn't handle. Yeah. Yep. Boys will be boys, right? Oh, yeah. You said boys, right? Too. Um, yeah, boys. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, they will. Because like I said, I have a 15-year-old and a soon-to-be 13. So I can imagine me trying to homeschool them, especially the young one. I think I'll have mad gray hairs by the end of the year. Yeah, so I'd rather let's, let the teacher deal with the headache. You know what I'm saying? I had no time for myself these few weeks. That's kind of weird because I bumped into a lady that homeschooled her kids. And I think she had, I want to say four of them. I think I've seen four. And she said she did pretty good with them. Uh, that she only did homeschooling from from nine, from nine to two o'clock, something like that. And then that was it. Like, it was short. You didn't have to really like teach them for a long time. It was supposed to be from nine to two. And she had four, so I don't know how she managed that. Maybe she did start sooner. I don't know. But she says she loved homeschooling her kids, you know. But when she moved down here, she had to start working because she had nobody to really watch them. And she had to make, you know, money and stuff like that. So my boys had it from 8, 10 to 30. And then had work. Oh, okay. Okay. Because normally it's supposed to be the parent that kind of does the curriculum, I think. That's, I don't know. Maybe it's different for each state. Probably that's what it is. For each state is different. Because she was coming from down south. So maybe the things are different down there. This is a big cup. Oh my God, for real? Wow. Almost to 7.30. Ouch. Must have been hard homework, huh? And then there's two of them, so. And at least you tried, you know? You did your best, you tried it. Can't say you didn't do it, you know? You tried, so. For me, I'm hoping it's a little easier because since I'm starting at a younger age and not later on, I got an itch all of a sudden on my nose. I did try, but really it wasn't for us. Yeah, that's that's all you could do is try, you know. You did your best, you tried it, and it's not for everybody, you know. You did what you did. Um, I'm drinking some juice. Um in my cup. Um, this was from, I think last year. Yeah, I think this was from last year when my son, yeah, last year my son's school um, was selling tickets to the Yankee game. So, you know, when you go to the Yankee game, you get souvenirs and, you know, you do what you do. It'll be easier for you. You only have one, and she will start homecoming for me doing stuff. Yeah, I think so. And I feel she picks up a lot of stuff really quickly, which is going to probably be really weird for me because, like, you know, my sons were kind of, like, a little behind on certain things, but she's more advanced than them. So, hmm, you know? Mines are in third and fifth. Oh, okay. No, I have a I have a middle school and a high schooler. So oh, excuse me. So I have one in seventh grade and I have the other one in tenth. No, tenth? Is he a tenth grader? Oh my god, I'm I'm just as shocked to say that he's a tenth grader. 
He's a 10th grader. I'm actually listening to myself for the first time and saying that my oldest is a 10th grader. That's crazy. See, the young one was supposed to be an eighth grader, but he got left back in second grade. So, yeah. My daughter, too. Oh, 21. Wow. I remember that. That big 21. <laughs> Went out and I got drunk out of my butt. <laughs> my other two are finishing school. One graduate college already. And. Twenty one, Jen. That's crazy. Wow. And my my husband's son from the previous relationship that he has, um, the oldest turns twenty next week on I think it's the twenty third. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's the twenty third. And then the twins, they turn nineteen, um, a day before Thanksgiving. So, yeah, he's got a 20-year-old, he's got 19-year-old twins, then my 15-year-old, the 13, well, he'll be 13 next month, and then the baby, right? Yeah, and then the baby. So that's crazy, right? Like the age range for him. <laughs> it's just crazy to think. Yeah, so it's, it's really crazy. I'm like, I'm hearing all these, these parents that have kids in their 20s. And I'm like, I could have had a baby at 20. I could have a 20-year-old right now if if I took a different route. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know why. It plays? No, it plays. Blue Pac-Man. Come on, come on. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh no, go back, go back. Holy crap. Oh man, I hate when the buns get stuck. Sorry, guys, I'm playing Pac Man. Oh, oh, he's going to come and eat me. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I should have never done it, but hey. Holy crap. Oh, darn it. I ate up on my things. Oh, come on. Oh, little the game that I'm playing, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. Oh, wait up. Yeah, it's this little cute little um, game. It's Pac-Man. It's cute. It's like a keychain. Um, he got it as a gift. So, what? What's your favorite toy? Your babies. Um, my phone is on. Let me go charge it. Okay. All right, Tanya. Sorry, I didn't see that message. The twenty. You know what? The twenty sixth is my grandniece's birthday. She turned six years old this year. The one that you've seen in my blogs and stuff like that, my niece's daughter, she'll be six years old this year. That's crazy. On that day, on the 26th. Yeah, on the 26th, she was born. And I was there. I was there when she was being born. And Cynthia, what's her favorite toy? Right now, she really don't have a favorite toy. Honestly, she plays with anything and everything. Anything she can get her hands on, she'll play with it. I mean, I say that she likes 
mainly her phone, um, the little um, the bunny rabbit, the leapfrog baby, the the rabbit, and maybe the Grinch. Those are like the three main things that I think she likes the most. But she likes anything. Like she'll play with anything, grab anything, and start playing with it. Nope, I can't give you this. Um, yeah. So this is my son. This is like a little Pac-Man game, and it does turn on and everything. It has like a, a switch on the back. And it looks just like, you know, an arcade. And then you just kind of like, I don't know what this is for, but if you press it, you see, it's a little Pac-Man. So yeah, that's what I was kind of busy looking at. <laughs> I love this. And they do have this a little bigger at um, BJ's. They have it like a medium size bigger than this, and then a little more bigger. And I know a lot of other YouTubers, like the male YouTubers, they have the one that's like, I want to say about four feet, maybe four feet. So, and Robert, no, I'm not ticklish. Sorry, not ticklish. Um, so yeah, they have these types of things at BJ's. So no, I'm not giving you Skyland. You can look at me all you want, but I'm not giving it to you. Sorry, I'm not ticklish. I've been tickled out by my brothers. They kept tickling me oh you okay they kept tickling me to the point that honestly i'm not ticklish it just irritates me it bothers me like it, it hurts it doesn't it doesn't phase me the ticklish doesn't phase me no more so if that answers your question there you go yeah so that's crazy huh get the kitty Leche. Get leche, mama. Leche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to see if you got any teeth up in there. Here. I'm trying to see if she has any molars, but I don't see any molars up in there. Honestly, I don't see none. Um, welcome, welcome for those that are coming in. I hope you're having a blessing Friday. I um, hope you're enjoying it wherever you're doing it with your family, hanging out here, chit chatting with me. Like I said, I come live every Friday. We're here just talking it up, laughing, haha. -ha. Um, I decided to title it QA Friday for those that want to get to know me a little, that has been watching my vlogs and stuff like that. You can ask me questions. If I feel com comfortable <laughs> answering them, I will. If I'm not comfortable, then you won't get an answer. Um, also I did unbox my boxy charm much earlier, about an hour ago. So I'm going to show you the box. Um, if I can, cause I got baby girl on my lap. This is my box here, guys. And the blush, the blush, the brushes that came in this box. A lot of other YouTubers have been talking about them. They feel amazing. Like I got... If I was to show you my brush collection, which I might do a video because I do have one here that I did maybe a year ago, but I got more brushes since then. Like BoxyCharm, Ipsy has given me so many new brushes. So maybe if I remember, I might make a brush collection. I'll wash them first before I show you them because they do need to get washed. And I'll do the collection and I'll show you everything. I can't remember what brushes came from what, but I can tell you that most of them came from my beauty boxes and they were very good brushes. But these brushes, I want to try a foundation with them, even though I don't like foundation. But I feel with that big fluffy one that I showed earlier, I feel like it will really, really blend the foundation really good into the skin because I've been trying to look for a brush that can do that and not make my skin feel um, like it's suffocating because that's how sometimes the foundation makes me feel. So that's why I only wear concealer on, on certain spots and stuff like that. But if that brush can blend in the, the foundation really nice without having to like cake it on then we'll see we'll see and the foundation that i used to use when i did use foundation was the i think the maybelline either the maybelline or the l'oreal 
it was one of those two and it was a um matte finish for combination skin because i have combination skin oily and dry um so that was the type of foundation that i use on my face and i use very little like i said i can't do too much because when I did go to beauty school and one of the um, women there used me as a model for a test to do her makeup so she, she can get her grade, she caked, the, she caked the makeup on my face and I was like, wee, I couldn't. Like, I felt bad because the makeup looked it pretty, but I had to go to the bathroom and, and take it off because I felt like my skin was being suffocated with this makeup you gotta stop making up your mind you gotta make up your mind mama because you can't be coming up and down i'm talking to my friend and you're being very really, really uh, yeah i am i'm gonna do the makeup looks you know i'm gonna like play with my makeup and i'm gonna make sure i have the camera in front of me because if i come up with some nice ideas I want to be able to record it and then like i said take a picture first put it on all my social media platforms and if i get enough likes on that look the video will be ready to go like edited and everything music and all that jazz and i'll be like okay i got the video you i'll upload it this day and then you guys can go watch what i did to make that look you understand so that's what i'm trying to work on right now because like I said, I have so many palettes, like different kind of makeup palettes up in there, blushes and eyeshadows and highlighters and everything. So I want to start using it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just haven't found a great foundation that I really like and enjoy, you know? Um, like I said, the only, what are you doing? Don't be eating that. You don't eat that. That's nana. That's caca. Don't do that. Why you did that for? That's caca. Ugh. Yeah, nah, 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 caca. <laughs> He's so cute. Nobody can be mad at you for too long, my baby. Yeah, nobody can be. Nobody can be mad at you. Yeah, you too cute. Nobody can be mad at you for too long. Mm, and you know that, right? You know that. Mommy can't be mad at you for too long. <laughs> mm. Who would have thought I would have another one? Oh my God, at my age? I didn't think this. Did I lose service there for a second, guys? Thank you. So you have seen the pictures that I put up on Instagram, right? Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to probably Snapchat, like not Snapchat. Um, how do you say? I'm going to try to like copy some of the Instagram pictures that I have and put them here in my community board um in community center here and see if anybody likes them because i know a lot of people don't have so many um social media platforms some are very picky so i'm gonna try to do my best to remember to kind of like um like i forgot what they call to like take a picture of a picture what is it called? Oh God, it's a name, I forgot. So that, um, not, I don't think it's snap, it's not picture or whatever, but I'm gonna copy the picture and then I'll put it in my community board. So I'm gonna throw it out and be like, do you wanna me to re remake this look? I could do it because I do got some smoky eye looks and I do have colors too. I have one that I did in blue makeup. I have one that I did orange. Um, I have one that I did in red, but I didn't really like that red for some reason. It, it was my favorite. Really? Nobody could see you. 
You want to see yourself? Wait, let me see if I can make you see yourself. You see yourself? Ah, there goes my pretty baby. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you going to stand up? There you go. Say hi, everybody. My name is Skylin. And that's my mommy. <laughs> oh, God, you're so beautiful. And I got all cheese dudes on my shirt. Right? Like, oh, here's my mama. Oh, that's so cute. You don't want to hear me no more? Okay. Oh yeah, she's calling her daddy. She says, babe. Right? <laughs> she's doing little things because she's looking at herself. She loves looking at herself. She thinks it's like a, another girl on the screen. I don't think daddy's watching no more. <laughs> hey, you entertaining you entertaining my friends? I can imagine when she starts talking, Jen. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be like, whoo. She is not gonna stop talking. I can imagine that right now. You gotta make up your mind if you go down or up, down or up. It's gotta be one way. Okay? What? You just took my show over? <laughs> ow! Ow, ow! You're taking my show. This is this is mommy's time. And you're taking my time too? What? <sighs> so what's that that? What's that that doing? Oh my God, she's so funny. I know, that's her every day. Every day she's like that, Cynthia. Every single day. Yeah. Because even when I have the mirror, like if I have the mirror by her level, she'll look at herself and do funny things. Like stick her tongue out, she'll cheese. She'll be doing some crazy stuff. What? Now I gotta lift up the camera if you want. If you want that, I gotta lift the camera up. Cause you know, some people still find it offensive. So yeah, she's like that, man. And I, I don't want her to change. I want her to be just like that. She's a very fun little baby, you know, very fun. <laughs> And all my kids were like that, you know? Every one of my kids was like this, but then I don't know, society grabs them and it's like, they become, I don't know, they lose their 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 funny bone. They lose their- I know it's so hot up in here. I told you, I wasn't joking. And I got a short sleeve shirt. That's the whole funny thing. That's why I put a short sleeve shirt too. Wow, mama. What, you gonna go down with that dad? I don't know if she wants. What happened, Mom? Are you tired? I don't know what's going on with her. We're going to have to take off this sheet. Yeah, no. Not right now. now. No, after the live. <gasps> it's so hot up in here. I want to take off my shirt, but I don't want to. Oh, be quiet. I don't want to show you my muscles. You ain't got no muscles. <laughs> Hi, right, Jen. And you too? You you want to take off your shirt too? She's like, she's looking around. She thinks she's going to take her shirt off. That is so funny. You're not going outside. She thinks she's going outside. She really? grabbed her sweater. <laughs> you ain't going bye-bye. <laughs> 
She grabbed her sweater, the sweater that she used to go outside. Mama. She thinks she's going outside. Going no, outside. you're not. You're not going outside. Look at my goodness. Look, look, I'm not joking. She grabs her sweater. That's her sweater that she goes outside with. You're not putting that on. It's hot in this room, one. Wow. And we're not going out. We're not going outside. Why? Oh, I thought you opened up another one. I was about to say. You took your sweater. We're not going outside. Yeah, that's your pretty sweater. Yes, this is your sweater. You see, it's your sweater. It's your sweater that you wear outside, right? But we're not going outside. We're staying home. We're staying home, Mama. <laughs> Hi, Mama. You're about to smack me again with the sweater. The sweater. The sweater. You're gonna go eat with Dada. Dada got some chips. Okay. She's eating the one that Noel had. It's the same one. She eats those. You'd be surprised what that little girl can eat. No, it's not a new sweater. It's a sweater she got for her birthday. So it's and it's really nice and comfortable too. She likes it. So when she sees it, she knows she's going outside. Okay, why is my lights going flickering again? You see it? It's like a little, it's just started again. I got disco lights. I don't know why. Time to get a new phone. I know, next year, next year, next year I'm getting a new phone. I don't know, I still, I still want an LG. I'm still thinking about that LG V30. I mean, the camera on that is as good as the iPhone. They got it for boost, I don't think they got that for I don't know. I gotta look into it. I gotta see if they do. I'm it. What happened? What happened? This is her moment. What? What you want? Oh. What? I ain't putting that sweater on. We're not going outside. We're staying here. Yeah, we're staying here. We ain't going outside. We already went outside much earlier. That's it. We're not going outside until Monday. Until Monday. Monday, my older son got a dentist appointment. He's gonna, um, the dentist is gonna tighten up the braces that he already got in his mouth. So, yeah, he's gonna go and get them tightened up. And I think it's gonna be the last time he gets them tightened up, I think. And then I think they're gonna start putting in. No, ma, face. Darling. Cause I got the other box and I don't want her messing with nope, it. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know what's in there, if it's a makeup palette or not. Cause I seen somebody open that box and I could have sworn it's a makeup palette. I don't want her messing up with that white one. You're making a mess. And I wanna, I wanna do like two videos with that by itself. Cause we only got, I think it's only two weeks left in November. That's it. If I'm not mistaken, that's it. Two more weeks. Next week, and then the following week. You know, next week is your son's birthday, right? Yeah. And then the twins is the following. That's crazy. Back to back. And then Skyland turns. I mean, that's Skyland. Oh, Gabby turns six on uh, Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Wednesday of the last week. Wow. And then next month is December. And it looks like I have disco lights again. Let me do that thing again. Usually that helps. Did it help? Did it help? Oh, I don't even think it stopped. Is it still flickering? Why it flickers like that? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get it to stop from changing from peach to orange. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, do got it. What? The LG? V30? Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Mama, you got to make up your mind. I don't know why is it flickering. You see it, right? You see it? That's annoying. It is so annoying. I'm trying to figure out how to change it. Mom, what do you want? 
You want to see yourself? You want to, you, what would you want to tell my friends? Uh, Are you thinking? When, you, when you're in the camera, you got to be ready. You can't go, uh, you can't do that. You got to be ready. You got to say what you got to say. I think it stopped. Yeah, I think it stopped because of her white shirt. I don't know. Something about the white and... Mm. Cheese. Hey, cheese. <laughs> oh my god, what was I doing? So that's why I get her to do. She brushes her teeth, so I gotta be like cheese and cheese. But sometimes she wants to bite on the toothbrush. She's like, she wants to nibble on her toothbrush. I was like, no, you don't bite on your toothbrush. It's to brush your teeth, and she'll she'll literally have a good grip on her toothbrush, and she has like her little baby toothpaste and stuff. So, so you went all the way over there to get a chip so you can come back and be on the camera. You've seen that, right, guys? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you see, Daddy, Daddy in the background eating his chips. Daddy. Daddy, yeah. Yeah. I come with a 64. What, a 64 or what? Gigabyte. Gigabyte? Is that a lot of memory? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because I do need a phone with a lot of memory, for one. And... For two, I need something that's going to be like power operated really good because this, I think the battery on this one is almost like completely shot. And again, it's doing that. I don't know why. Stop it. Why is it doing that? I need like something. To, you need a diaper change? I know. Did it stop? Maybe because I moved? Yeah, it stopped. I don't know. It's like certain colors or something. Oh, look at that. It was cold. That's why I don't open the windows. You open it like, instead of opening it like this, you open it like, you try to kill us with the cold. I want the warm to stay here. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, my shirt. <laughs> Your tablet's messing up too. Uh, okay, I think it stopped. I don't know. It starts doing some disco orange lights. I don't know why. It's weird. Ooh. So, what time is it where you guys are at? It's already 10.38 over here. And there it goes again. It's like I move around and it starts wanting to do it. I'm trying to figure out why is it doing it. It stopped? I'm not trying to hide from the camera. It's just that I don't know. It just keeps doing that peachy color look. <laughs> I'm not playing hide and go seek with nobody. It's just that my camera today, for some reason, like if there it goes again, it's doing that peachy color thing. I don't know why. It's just acting up really bad today. I don't know why, guys. It just. It really wants to do what it wants to do. Why are you bothering your uncle for? Hmm? Daddy's over here. I don't know why she's calling you when you're over here. Oh, okay. I'm I still got the makeup. My hand is so funny. I still got the makeup on my hand. 
Really, Stanley? Really? Are you just feeling like that? Is that how you're feeling? That's how you're feeling? Pamper, yes, pamper. How's the weather in North Carolina? Is it like cold? Because today it hit like 50, I want to say 57, right? 57. So it wasn't that cold. It was pretty decent. And it's funny because it looks like every time, or right now, every time that I want to go outside, go ahead, get it. Like every time I want to go outside, it seems really nice for some reason. And then, like, when I don't decide to go outside, it's cold. Like, it's super cold. Because even my kids been telling me, it's cold today. But today that I decided to go out, it wasn't as bad. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just, I think I'm just lucky to choose dates of the time where it's not as cold, you know. Because I'm not ready to wear a coat, man. I am not. I'm not ready to put scarves and earmuffs and hats i'm like i'm not ready for the cold i mean i'm ready prepared you know have the stuff for it but i don't want cold you know <laughs> i like when it's warm not too hot not too cold right in between what do you want it's about the same but Oh, okay. Now we haven't had rain in a while. <sighs> Sorry. Um. Yeah, we haven't had rain in a in a minute, so I don't know when we're gonna get rain. Honestly. So. <laughs> yeah. What's Noel doing? He fell asleep. And I bet you if you take that YouTube away, what's going to happen? <laughs> you okay? Hmm? Yeah, but that's the whole thing. He thinks he got it back, maybe, you know? Oh, you gonna, you going to read for everybody? Get up, stand up, stand up and read for people. Come on, go ahead, read for people. Go ahead, read your paper. You're going to read the paper to everybody? Go ahead, read the paper. Read the paper. I think she pooped. <laughs> I think she just farted. Go ahead, read your paper. Tell them what it says in your paper. Uh-huh. Don't eat the paper. Don't eat the paper. Paper is not to eat. No, I think she just farted. I, I just put my face in her rear end and it doesn't stink. I just think she farted. And she got cheese doo -doo. Hey, That's it. No more. No more. Take it. Girl, you act like nobody feeds you and you'll be here biting everything. She doesn't stink. Oh my God. <laughs> she laughed. She's laughing because she's like, funny chip. She has a funny smell. I mean, don't touch that. Your chips. What is your chips? The original or has a flavor? Original. Original. Look at this little fly hair. I think I'm going to braid my hair. I got to wash my hair. I'll probably wash my hair tomorrow and I'll probably braid it because I'm tired of doing this right now. Straighten it out. Um, so I just might braid it. Braid it up because this is all new growth from when I lost some of my hair, which is funny because for my two baby boys, I didn't lose any hair, but for baby girl, this is new growth. All this right here is like all new growth. This right here. Not this part. But this. All this is like new. And then it's the same thing on this side. So I've been having to fight with 
those little stray hairs and stuff. I'm trying to use products to lay them flat. Uh, good morning. Good morning to you. Where are you from, Mickey? Because it's nighttime here in NYC. In China. You, <laughs> you, you said China. The first thing that comes out your mind is China. Most people that says good morning, they're usually from the UK. Uh, it's half three in the morning. England. England. And what you doing up at three in the morning? Can't sleep? Oh, that thing is still a block at lunch. Okay, that was really blocking. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what? What you looking at? You you only be dirtying everything with your fingers, my child. No oh, no 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 no. Get off! Get off, mamita. Skylin. <laughs> My baby girl's on the ground and she's messing with my my drawers. Don't open them, leave them alone. Okay, I think I'm gonna be getting off soon. Maybe I'm learning. Hello and welcome for those that are coming in. Um, if you guys want to ask me questions, like I said earlier, go ahead and ask me some questions. Also, if you want to ask me anything later on once this video goes live, you can actually do it as well. Um, I just decided to do a Q&A today, just in case for any new subscribers that I have, um, if they want to ask me any questions and get to know me a little more, um, you guys can do that here. What you doing? Stepping on the bag. <laughs> looking down. My baby girl is down here. That's why I keep looking down. So if anybody keeps looking at me and I'm looking down, my baby girl down here. She's just making a lot of noise. Right, baby girl? Right? You're supposed to be sleeping, but you don't want to sleep. You want to stay up and see mommy, right? Right? Yeah. I love you too. When are you going to say, I love you, mommy? Hmm? When? Oh. When you're ready? Don't touch nothing there. Yeah. Don't touch anything there. Gaga. She wants to make a mess. That's that's all she likes to do is mess after mess. That's what she likes doing. That's her favorite pastime. I clean up and she's like, ah. I'm going to make a mess for mommy. <laughs> That's what she does. That's what she does best. So let me see. Let me throw some questions out. Um, so what are you guys' favorite sports? Let's turn the questions to you guys. Um, do you guys like sports? And what sports do you like watching? And what team do you represent? So throwing out some questions to get some feedback. 
And if you guys are watching this after the live, let me know what sports you like watching, the team that you like representing, you know. I want to get to know you guys and get to know your likes, you know. <laughs> oh, it's getting tangled this year. What are you doing? J Punk went and watched his SmackDown. He's left. <laughs> He's into that SmackDown. Like David, David went and watched the SmackDown as well. Not too many people went live tonight. That's not that's kind of odd. What? Yeah, not a lot of people went live. It was a really peaceful night tonight. Only the main people that go live on Friday. Bless you. Bless you. Ooh, babes, check her mouth. Yeah, she didn't hear her mouth. Yeah, she did. I seen it from my side. I seen it from here. She she, she tapped that corner. You and yo for real? Oh yeah, my I did god. Too. You did it deadly because nobody heard it. So and you too? Yeah, it's got it. <laughs> oh my god, these two have me over here entertained. You guys are ridiculous. So that's hubby for anybody that wants to know. That's the hubby. And the baby is over there on the ground. Making a mess. Doing the most. That's what she does. That's what she does best. Make a mess so mommy can clean it up. <laughs> that's what she yeah, loves doing. Yeah. She's like, okay, okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. It's like, okay. He's like, I'm going. I'm leaving. Yes, Mommy, put my sweater on. Nowhere. I'm leaving. <laughs> She's like, I'm leaving. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, Dada took your sweater away. <laughs> we ain't going bye-bye. You heard her? You heard yourself? We ain't going bye-bye. We're going to go nighty-night. What did he say? She's going to take something and toss it at you. What is that? That's a controller? I think, yeah, I think I'm about to end it very soon. I don't see nobody talking or answering me, or asking me any questions anymore like earlier. But for those that want to do a little recap, this is the box that I received for November. I got a Juice Beauty, a Douce of Colors lip products, um, a Celestical Thunder by um, Dominique Cosmetics, um, the Starry Eyes. This right here is supposed to warm up when you open it. And it's supposed to help with migraines and headaches. That's what it says. I don't know how true that is. I've never tried that product. And Boxy Luxe's brush. These brushes are like, and they're not on, so I don't know what one would, would cost, but these are a set of two. And then they sent samples of concealers, so I think they're going to start adding more concealers and um, foundation into the boxes. So yeah, this is like everything that I received in my boxy charm. I did it earlier, so if you guys are here to see the boxy charm unboxing, um, you can wait till it uploads, and then it's the first half of this video. I opened it up. I explained all the products. This box is about a hundred and twenty plus dollars, and I only paid twenty five dollars. I know. Oh, it used to be one dollar. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 21 at one point, but now it's 25 just because of the new products that they want to add. So they just want to make the, the price difference. 
Um, next month, I should be getting the Boxy Lux. I did sign yeah. up for that. That you get every three months, I think it is. Like, it's a seasonal. It's similar to, like, Fat Fit Fun. You get, like, seasonal. So, I'm not sure what's in that box yet, even though I know there's a lot of spoilers. I don't like looking at the spoilers. Um, I really like to be surprised of what's in my box. But also, BoxyCharm is letting us choose, I think, a product in the box. And it should be opening up anytime next week. We get to choose one of our products in the box. So hopefully I don't miss it because I did miss it for this one. What do you want? She wanted me in the camera. You want to see yourself? You want to tell everybody hello and goodbye? Yeah. You're not going to put that on because you're not going outside. She really tried to put on the sweater. She's being a clown. Can you tell? She thinks she's already grown. She want to hang out. Hi. <laughs> You're killing me here, mama. Like I said, I'm out this house. <laughs> and she's only 14 months, guys. 14 months. That's it. 14 months. Oh. Yeah. You know what it is? She likes looking at herself. Like somebody I know. Oh, really? She's just having it. She tossed it on the floor. She's like, I can't deal with it. I'm just throwing it on the floor. Yes, can is like that. Mm hmm And then she's dangling her legs. She's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> She, I tell you, she gives me all the positivity, and I love it. She's my my happy joy. You know, like the game, a happy few, when they have to take that certain pill to make themselves happy. No, she's she's my happy. Right, mamas? You make me happy. I got an itch in my hand. That's really bad. You want to come back up? Okay. Oh. Oof. Yeah. She's like, well, I can't see myself yet. Because you're not there yet. There you go. See yourself? What do you it was, want? It was froze. For you, but on the screen, you did it. Come on. Come on. Because nobody can see me. I have the camera still faced up. Nobody can see you, mama. Nobody can see you. Nobody can see me. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm about to get off in eight minutes. Once I hit the three hour mark, then I'll be gone. So I hope everybody is having a good Friday. I have the best Friday tomorrow. I'm just gonna be home, um, cleaning like I always do. Really, Nathan? Ooh, sexy boy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's you want to go to your Nathan? Go see Nathan. Go ahead, go see Nathan. Um, so like I was saying, I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Um, don't drink and drive, like I always say, have fun, but do it safe. Make sure, make sure you get home safe. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, what else? If you like this vlog, or oh, this vlog, sorry, I'm getting tired, guys. It's the end of the night, and I just want to go to sleep. Um, if you enjoy this live, hit the like button. Don't forget, if you like watching my videos, go and hit that red button down below, which is, for me, a friendship button. But here on YouTube, it's considered a subscribe button. Um, also, hit the bell so you can get notified when i upload and go live as well but just know that i always do this every friday i'm here to chit chat with you to hang out with you you feel like drinking go ahead you drink drink for me because i can't drink for another couple of months um but i know i'm going to be drinking for my 40th that's like 
that's a, a real, real one. That I'm going to drink. I don't care. I'm turning 40. I'm drinking my butt off. I'm enjoying my 40s. And yeah, so have a great, great night, everybody. Enjoy your night. Get home safe if you're out there um, watching me somewhere else other than home. And yeah, see you next Friday, guys. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great night. And don't forget to like. Like what you subscribe, right? <laughs>